Okay, right. Today we will start with a new video, new lecture, uh, which is about modeling the same beam but using a shell element. Now again, the length of that beam is 1,200. Uh, dimensions is 100 by 50. Uh, we have applied load 10 kilonewton over the uh, tip of the beam. Now we will model, actually we did model as a beam element, we did model it as a plane stress, now we will model it as a shell element. That shell element which is EABF, that a shell element, and uh, you must, uh, as a shell element, and the dimension is 1200 by 50, and the thickness of the shell is 100 millimeter as shown here. We will uh, only use only one mesh size, which is four in uh, that direct in a nicotidinal direction and in the transversal direction. Uh, sorry, new, uh, transversal direction. We will have four elements. So it's in total we have sixteen elements, and we will use uh, S eight R uh, uh, element used in aqua you must calculate the deflection you must calculate also the bending stress on the top surface you must calculate the section moment uh, along bq bq here in the middle of the uh, beam uh, the nodal uh, forces along ea and also of course you need to finally find the reaction forces uh, that's it now what do you have to do in abacus we open abacus as usual and then the screen will come into you here you, cl you click with the standards and explicit model now you go into here your part manager and create let's call it as a beam we will use a 3d and a shell and a planner 3d shell and planner so you will have a shell element and then we continue now move this window to here we will use actually create line rectangle for lines the coordinates is 0 0 enter sorry 0 0 0 enter and then the other coordinate should be the coordinate was F which is 1200 by 50 so it is 1200 by 50 y enter let's press on that button with this auto fit view you will get that now once you finish you move here which is something called cancel procedure and say done now what you see is the shell this shell is at the top of the beam, okay? At the top of the beam, E, A, B, F. Now, after you finish a part, you have to go to property. Now, we create a steel material. You go to property, material pro manager. You go create. And material is a steel material. We name it, name it as a steel, mechanical, elasticity, elastic. The Young model is 200,000 uh, Newton per million squared, which is 200 kilonewton, and the parcel rate is 0 0.25. He said, OK, dismiss to approve. Now, you go to uh, section manager, you go create, let's call it as a beam section. We will use, of course, shell now, and then homogeneous type. We will say continue. You will notice that the material you created which was a steel. We keep the thickness integration rule as a sim Simpson and five number integration point, and the thickness here actually will be the height of the beam because at the end of the day. You are drawing this shell E A B F and you get a thickness of 100. So it's 100. Said so, okay. 
and dismiss to approve now you need to assign such section into the beam so section assignment manager new create will ask you to assign the section you click on the section you said done you keep everything as it is but please remember this is definition as a middle middle surface I know it will be a tricky because you are modeling modeling sorry the top surface however you need to top, top top surface however keep it as a middle surface and then we get the result from the top surface so we keep the definition as a shell offset as a middle surface and then we get the result from the top surface so we keep it like that I will show you how you get it right the result from the top surface and you said okay and dismiss now you go to assembly you notice there is nothing in the model so in the assembly you must bring out uh, the model you bring the assembly and then independent so you have the beam independent and after that uh, by independence so the mesh will be on the assembly and then okay after that you go into a step you go to a step manager you go create keep the step as it is the name as it is and then you choose static general and continue I just want to discuss something in a static you have too many things by the way you notice that you have a soil if you are studying soil heat transfer if you are studying heat transfer you have a dynamic uh, dynamic you have also geostatic if you are studying a geostatic uh, step also if you move up a little bit you will have cyclic loading if you are doing cyclic you have a temperature coupled temperature displacement if you are studying uh, thermal structure analysis you have coupled thermal electric if you have thermal electrical uh, application you have also implicit and explicit uh, which is used for dynamic analysis etc this is a huge amount of uh, of application now we are using simplest the uh, simplest uh, application with a static general when you say continue uh, you keep everything as it is you don't need to change and you said okay and you dismiss uh, for that now one more thing which is important because in the question was I said I ask you to find the section moment Abacus by default doesn't give you the section moment by default doesn't give us a section moment so you need ask abacus for a section moment how to ask abacus now you go to uh, field output manager you click here and you double click on a step you get actually these are these are the field output the output you needed if you go into force and reactions you find somewhere section forces and moment SF you click on a section forces and moment you notice is unticked meaning the result will not be given however if we tick it the result will be given and you said okay to save the changes and dismiss to approve now you go into loading what I need I need firstly let's do a loading a load uh, sorry reaction forces first let's go to our action forces uh, sorry uh, the boundary condition you click on the boundary condition manager and you create let's call it boundary condition I'll just call it fixed boundary and you choose a second option and you continue you click over the right edge to show it is a fixed in the sorry left edge you see and then you say done you click over everything it has to be a zero and then once you meaning that everything the whole displacement u1 u2 u3 and the rotations 
of that age will be zero and then you say okay you dismiss to approve now you will ask me how ca how this is a plate I saw it as a plate but I don't see it here I see it like a 2d no to make sure that you could understand it you go and you, you see it you go into a rotate view you click on the rotate view and you go into your screen and you press your left button of your mouse you will notice that you are rotating your model and now again you press the button of your mouse left button of your mouse you notice that you are rotating the model so keep trying it remember it now if you want to zoom it, um, it in and zoom it out you only need to screw uh, to, to roll to roll the the mouse well you roll it the mouse well you roll it in and out in and out in and out you notice I'm moving also the mouse to show which area I want to zoom it in and zoom it out so try it now zoom it in and then to go outside this command you only press escape from your keyboard or you press cancel procedure that's done you keep you can zoom it in and out by rolling the mouse well now we need to apply a load what you do have is you have a load here distributed over here and you go to load manager create call it loading now in this step I will use a shell edge load and you continue where do you want to apply load? You put the apply on that edge and you say done. You have enough of of option. Now you need you don't need that normal to the edge, you need that transversal with the transverse loading traction, the transversal to the shell and the perpendicular to the shell. Well, um, but what is the value? Now think about the value is ten thousand okay is attraction over that length 50 so 10,000 will be divided by 50 10,000 divided by 50 will give you 200 so that is I did this calculation if you see in the note here Let me make sure this one given so basically it is 10,000 over 50 will give you 200 since the load goes down so it is minus 200 so if you make sure that is a minus you notice that actually the load is in the z direction of z so it is minus that's just coordinates and then okay what do you notice go rotate you notice that oh okay we have traction load we are in the correct direction that's fine don't forget to to save but before I save let's save it somewhere here let's say set directory we forget this step you go into your directory that the first you have to do and then you get abacus uh, I think this one no I think it's uh, D abacus and okay and okay now make sure you are saving now at the same place we set the directory now we save it in abacus also let's call it let's call it shell element so we save the directory the directory and we save now we go to mesh let's give rotating a little bit I need 16 element 4 
on these edges and four on that edges. So what I have to do, we go to seed edges, we click here and we press shift on your keyboard to, to have multiple uh, selection. You click here, you click on the left, right, you click on the left, now and you're done. You choose my number and you choose four. I said okay. So you have four seats around the edges and you say done. You go into your mesh part and you said okay. So you have 16 elements. Now you have to go to assign type element, element type. You click on the beam, you say done. Make sure this is a, a shell and make sure it is a quadratic. So your element will be S8R quadratic. And said OK. And said done. Now, what else? Yeah, now we go to job. We finish the modeling. You go to job manager. You go to create. Let's call it shell or sorry, uh, 16 element. Okay, then continue, approved, and submit and wait for the result. So it seems to take some time. Yeah, it's running now. Okay, complete and I get the result. Now let's rotate to get that result here. And then let's deform the shape. Now what I really want, I want the displacement, the first step, I want the displacement over over the, the whole uh, beam. So what I have to do, I need to create a path over that line here. So you have to go to U and uh, the uh, displacement should be in a vertical direction which is in Z U3 let's go to tools path manager and then create node list continue add after let's zoom in and zoom out and then that's the zoom, so we click here, we click here, find the node, and then zoom out, zoom in to this point, click here, zoom out, zoom in, you click here, zoom out, zoom in. If you find difficulty to find the node, you can go actually into common option, 
node mod, uh, level node level apply okay now zoom out zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out zoom in where is it yeah zoom out zoom in that's done so this is done okay Now, to get the deflection, we go to Tools, XY Data, Manager, Create, Path, Continue, Use Undeformed Shape. Now you have the length that you have. You need to make sure which is distance, X, Y, or Z. Now, if I rotate, you notice that the distance is over x axis, yeah? Okay, the distance is over x axis. You look at the top here. It's x axis, so it's x distance. Make sure this is u, u3, save as. Okay. Double click. Ah, oh, you will get all the displacement for different location, and then you need to add it into this table. distance from the fix you put the and finite element and the theory now you're done let's close everything you close you close now the question is we need to find out uh, the second question is find the stress on the surface scale the s11 it has to be on the top surface. Be careful at this point. Top surface of bending stress. In order to find the bending stress, you need to go to S and S11 this is a bending stress if you now you go to tools XY data manager you go to create because we have the same path used for displacement we will use it also for the same for the stress and you continue it's over X distance and the form now this is very important. This is field output. Go to field output here to, to pick up the top surface. You got a field output and you have something called section points. You click on snag and you choose the spots. Spots mean fraction is plus one. Fraction plus one means at the top surface. Fraction equal to minus one is at the bottom surface. So suppose is the top surface and you said okay. And then you said okay. Now everything is go fine. And then you save as and you said okay. You double click, you will get the bending stress on the top surface over the KL, and you go into your table. And you fill up this table. Bending stress over AB theory and finite element. Next one, you need the section, section monoid over PQ, which is PQ here. Let's PQ. PQ, which is a section moment. SM1. 
detection moment SM1 over PQ. Now again, you close everything, you close, you close. You want try to rotate. You need to learn how to rotate and zoom in. You need over PQ. Let's start from here to here. In order to cancel this, you cancel by here procedure, and then you go to tools. You need a new path, path manager. Create and continue and add after. Zoom in. You need here, here, from the top to bottom. You say done. And you said okay, that's a second path. You go you go into before we go to tools, let's change into yeah, SM. That is SM, which is a moment section. You go to SM1 moment section and then you go to tools, data XY, manager, and then you create path continue you need to choose a second path and you need to know it is on y distance because it is in y distance if you correlate it this path is in y distance okay this path is in y distance you look over here and uh, make sure that you have sm sm1 and save as and okay you double click you will get the bending section over the whole distance you go here you fill up the table here now how to find out the bending moment or the mid span theoretically this is a value now we will do it here manually However, in the next lectures, I will teach you how to find it in Abacus directly. There is a tool for it. But for a moment, in order to find it, you need to pull the whole table. I give the results here anyway. You take the average of it, of these, then I and then you multiply it by sorry by 50 which is the thickness of with the high which is the width of the beam so you take the average of the value and you multiply it by 50 you give you the bending moment and now you have compared with a uh, theoretical one next is we need to find the nodal force over AE and AE is a support now you close everything you close, you close, you close now zoom out and you go here, you zoom in at this point you need other support now the reaction over support is RF and F RF3 You go into create a new path, manager, create, continue, add after. You zoom in and then you click here, you click here. And then done and then OK. Now you go to XY data, manager, create, path, now undeform, which is in Y axis, make sure this is RF3 and you save as, and OK. You double click, oh, there's a problem. 
uh, I think I made a mistake and can I hold on we close it okay and this is in sorry uh, ah yeah because it's a pass one so it's a pass three okay now it's a save as and okay you double click I oh, will get the whole reactions the whole uh, nodal forces and you take this value and you put it on here the nodal forces and now the question is in order to find the total force with the reaction force you need to add these all together to give you the reaction force save you close 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 everything and save now what I need to do you need to go to the theory how this theory has been done and the theory has been done here thank you very much keep practicing you will be there